Okay, you know, that was the budget of the flick. I could control the budget of the movie, and so that's kind of neat. Uh, I could control uh, how much uh, it, to take out. Like, if it's too expensive, I could be like, you know what, lose these set pieces, and that'll be that. I can go to the actors, as I did in this movie, and be like, please, like, take nothing. Take favored nations. If I told you what well, we paid John Goodman, you'd come up, kick me in the balls, leave. <laughs> Just an insult and shit, but that's what we had to do to get it made, you know, was just ask everybody to like cinch their belts and shit, I didn't take a salary and whatnot, just anything by hook or by crook to make that happen. How you get to that point though, where you can go to somebody and be like, please don't charge us what people normally would, it's just the body work over the years doing all the, the work, and like good or bad, people just know that you're passionate about it. That's the one thing you can say about everything I've done, whether you like it or not. I emptied the tank on each one. I definitely like was there for it. I never phoned it in and shit. And that reads. And some people want to work with you because of it, and some don't. You know, or some cats are just are in it because they're like they smell art and they love art. And you know, Goodman's one of these cats that like he'll show up to act anywhere. You know, if you if you catch him on the right day, if you have access to him and material that he digs on, he just loves to fucking perform and shit. You meet people who don't necessarily feel that fucking same way. We had Sam Jackson we tried to get for this flick. Originally I wanted John Goodman to play the Keenan part, but he was working on Treme when we were going to start shooting, so I was like, he's out of the run, let's start looking around. Sam Jackson we went out to, and Sam Jackson was like, uh, I, I saw him at Comic Con, like uh, backstage before the Avengers panel, before they all fucking assembled. And shit. <laughs> Comic Con where some motherfucker got stabbed in the eye. Oh. Now the Avenger did nothing. <laughs> we were all there. And uh, like Mark Rolo was all puking backstage. He was like scared. He's like, I don't want to go out there. They're going to like me like Ed Norton and shit. Like, <laughs> and Sam Jackson was backstage and he saw me and I waved and he came over. I've written an Independent Spirit Award ceremony one year where he was the host. So I, I talked to him a bit back then. I hadn't seen him in a long time. He came over, he's like, young Kevin, how are you? Which is so ironic, because I'm, I'm 40, bitch. Um, and I was like, hey man, what are you up to? He goes, ah, I'm looking for work, man. I was just like, oh, I'm about to start making a, a movie, but uh, you wouldn't like this, no money. And he goes, well, don't say no money. He's like, I do my no money movies. I'm doing all these Marvel movies, eh? <laughs> and I said, there's gotta be money. He goes, no, there's not. <laughs> I was just like, all right, well, come work with us, man. There's no money there either, but it's a cool partnership. And he's like, send it to me, we sent it to him. And he liked it, but then I guess he didn't want to, his agent was just like, uh, 250 grand, that's the minimum. And I was like, I, okay, can you find that for me? Because we don't have that kind of money in this movie. <laughs> like everyone's favorite nations and stuff. So at one point I was so desperate, I was like, you know what, I offer Sam, I know Sam likes artwork. I have two gigantic uh, Helmine, Gottfried Helmine paintings of uh, Mickey Mouse and one of Donald Duck hanging in my house. And like, they're worth more than what he's asking for. Offer him the paintings. And his agent was just like, How do I commission paintings? <laughs> and he was like, That's your fucking problem. <laughs> so it didn't wind up happening. He didn't go for it, I guess. You know, he wanted he didn't want to spend a week on the movie and not get paid or whatever. For whatever reason, maybe he had something else to do. That didn't pan out. Went after John Hamm after that. I love Mad Men and shit. And I was sent to him the script. And this is the word I heard back. They were like, it was really weird because he couldn't wait to read it because he liked your stuff. And I was like, that's awesome, awesome. And they were like, then he read it. This ain't like your stuff. He didn't like it. <laughs> by about four weeks so suddenly the timing was right and we went to Bob Gersh at the Gersh agency to said please get this script to John Goodman and Gersh liked it he goes I'm gonna send it to John John read it and liked it he said alright I'm in he's going I got I only got this week here and all we needed him for was like five days he said I got this week and then I gotta go do some knee surgery and shit so I can do it I'd love to do it he came out did it for nothing the knee was bad like when he got there the first scene we shot with him is in the kitchen when like him and his wife, he's, he's kind of running down the Cooper family and whatnot. Um, so if you look very closely, when he first comes into the kitchen, he is like kind of limping. You can see it. And I think we pass it off. If you're not looking for it, it might just be old man walking limp kind of thing. <laughs> but it was bad. His knees were bad. Like when he was walking on the set, he was like literally like, ah, like calling out loud. It hurt so much. 
So I was like, shit, we got seas where you gotta like run and shit like that. He goes, no, I can do it, don't worry, just give me a lot of ice. And I said, uh, don't worry about it. I said, dude, once they start shooting, let's just take your knee out. He goes, what do you mean? I said, well, just say that you got fucking shot in the knee, you took a piece of skull or something like that. He goes, oh, that'd be, can you do that? Would you do that? So, Fuck, I mean, with what you were paying you? Of course we'll do that. You just gotta be amenable, like, you know, first you gotta have something they like doing, and this is a script that, the dialogue porn for an actor, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're an actor who's like, I don't like Kevin Smith movies, there's some choice fucking dialogue to go in there and crush your mm -hmm. blood. So it was kind of easy to, to collect the cast together and whatnot. And, you know, you hope, I think they do it with the hope that it'll lead to something cooler, you know, nobody doing this movie ever thought it would be noticed, really. A lot of the cats in the cast do so many independent films a year that even though, like, I'm attached to this one, they were just like, yeah, it could go either way. And we were able to kind of whip it up into something over the last few months, which is neat for them and whatnot, because they deserve it. But I think the, like, the reason we're doing the Academy run, which is so, like, you gotta do it. It's weird because every part of this release has been like I've done it my way and stuff and this is the first time I've encountered rules where they're like you have to do this shit. I'm like fuck. <laughs> so uh, you know we had to take out ads and had to do a week run and stuff like that but I modify it to the way I want to do it. I'm like alright if I run it can I do Q&A's each night? And they're like go the fucking head we don't care. So I was like alright I win. <laughs> but I think the cool prize is still coming for the actors. I hope we get them nominated. This has nothing to do with with me. This is everything to do with the actors. I swear to God, if somebody was like, we're going to nominate you, I'd, I'd actually probably be, I, you know what, I'll refuse it, because I, I don't think this movie's kind of that worth it. I think the actors are stellar. I think the actors fucking elevate it. So I'll push really hard to get them nominated. They've already started collecting plaudits, man. I sent uh, Affleck, asked me for a print of the movie. He goes, hey man, I want to see the flick. I haven't seen it yet. It's like fucking eight months, six months at least, after we played at Sundance. Finally popped up on my friend's fucking radar. And, uh, <laughs> not only because he was casting a movie. He's like, I hear you got some actors in your movie. And I was like, I do. You want to watch it? He said, yeah, send a print over. Because we didn't have any DVDs. We kept it real fucking tight. Sent a print over and stuff. Never heard back from him. So I was just like, oh my God. Like this prick watched my movie and was just like, ooh, Smittles fucked it. You know? <laughs> And it was just like, not since Jersey Girl. And decided to return the call. And weeks fucking went by, months went by. I was just like, oh my God. Then I started hearing from, I got an email from uh, Carrie Bechet. Carrie Bechet's like, it was months uh, after we made the flu. It was literally like four weeks ago or something like that. She was just like, I, hey man, I was just thinking about Red Set again because we sent out footage that all the actors had to approve for behind the scenes stuff. She was like, I was watching the footage and what a great time it was and stuff. I just wanted to thank you because like you know, th this part led to me getting a part in Ben Affleck's movie. And I was like, that, that, my Ben Affleck? <laughs> and then uh, I went and told, I think John Gordon, and John Gordon goes, oh yeah. He's going, you didn't know John Goodman is in Ben Affleck's movie as well. I was like, jo our John Goodman? <laughs> And John was like, well, technically he's not ours. He's been around for a while. And he was like, yeah, but Ben never cast it before, bitch. And then, uh, then I heard one more. One guy, I don't think they've announced it yet or talked about it at all, so I don't want to spoil it. But somebody else. And then finally, I saw, talked to Shay, uh, his producer. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, he's cherry-picking my fucking cast. Like, he didn't think to call or anything like that? And then he sent me an email two days later. He's like, I heard from Shay that uh, you didn't know whether I liked the movie or not. Uh, the fact that I took half your cast tell you anything? <laughs> Consider it. But um, it, it's cool. So they're, they're starting now, even though they did it for nothing and shit like that, they're boom, they wound up getting work off of it. And that's kind of why they do it. Chiefly, you do it because you're like, this will be fun, man. And since I'm not getting paid, you hope later on you'll wind up getting yourself like a good part off of it. And from what I understand, they all got really cool, cool parts in Argo, this movie Affleck's making, which I'm sure the studio will spend a shit ton of money on. They'll definitely get awards consideration and whatnot. Me, I'll still be out there going, vote Michael Parks! <laughs> so it's not difficult, man. You can get people in there. You, it helps have a body of work that people like. I mean, at the end of the day, again, good or bad, whether you like the movies or not, like if, if, if people identify those movies as like, well, shit, he obviously cares about them an awful lot, and people seem to like them, and where his audience seems to like them. And so that makes them kind of more inclined to be like, yeah, I'll give it a run and stuff. You don't see a lot of them return necessarily, though. You know, it's like uh, you'll see the ones who come back. I mean, I guess on the next movie, I'm trying to bring everybody back. And the omissions, I guess, will be rather loud. And you'll see the people who are like, one Kevin Smith movie was enough. <laughs> um, all right, let's give them a